Hello guys, so good morning. Um, so this is a continuation of the uh, elimination method. As we have discussed in the last video. And uh, the iterative methods are actually extensions of uh, the Gaussian elimination method and its variants. Uh, including the cost Jordan reduction and the uh, determination of the matrix inverse which are actually known as the direct methods so uh, these iterative methods were proven to be much faster since the number of operations involved in the direct methods are less, no? are far less uh, the, the number of operations when we say operations we are referring to the elementary row uh, operations not to include the row interchanges are far more than the iterative methods no? so this has uh, less uh, operations which makes uh, this a better uh, method if we are aiming for speed and uh, of course accuracy must also be there so when we say iterative we make use of uh, a repetition of a procedure with a definition of an initial estimate of a solution vector and uh, proceed with the refinement of such an estimate such that convergence to the actual solution is later achieved and this is more applicable when the matrix is sparse and uh, diagonally dominant so the first method we are going to study or look into is the jacobi method and before we uh, continue let's try to define uh, two very important terms uh, here in the execution of this method the sparse matrix and the diagonally dominant uh, matrix so the sparse matrix is actually a matrix wherein the majority of elements are zero and if that is the case if we use direct method for a sparse matrix we are actually wasting our time executing row operations without the need of such because the elements are zero so in the in the Jacobi method the iterative method we will be improving the efficiency since only the the uh, uh, matrix uh, uh, only the matrix uh, which has uh, values or non-zero values will experience the, the elementary procedures in such computations thereby reducing the number of operations involved so for a diagonally dominant matrix, uh, this is a square matrix such that in each row, the absolute value of the term on the diagonal is greater than or equal to the sum of the absolute values of the rest of the terms in that row. That is for an n by n matrix, the, this equation here uh, must be satisfied. Okay, so we are referring here to the absolute value of the diagonal 
the sum of the diagonals okay must be greater to the absolute value of the sum of the of diagonals so these are the diagonals and the off diagonal elements so off diagonal elements are those which uh, satisfy the i row and the g column uh, numbers not to be equal okay so off diagonal elements are those which possesses the property whereby your i is not equal to j and this is very much applicable to steady state solutions of uh, heat transfer okay so let's solve the problem given a system of, of equation we have used uh, on the previous example and define the steps involved in uh, solving the problem using the Jacobi iteration. So the first thing to do is to assure ourselves that the matrix diagonally dominant by looking okay into the original arrangement of the system of equation. So the diagonals here are 6, 2, and 2, and we can say that there is some uh, uh, problems on, on row 3 where in the diagonal uh, value or entry at row 3, which is 2, is less than the sum of the 2 of diagonal elements, which is 7 plus 2. Okay, so there exists some problems here on uh, the diagonal dominance such that we have to reorder the equations to make sure that uh, this is made this matrix is diagonally dominant and we can see here that 6 7 and 5 are greater than the sum of the other two of diagonal values or maybe the sum of 6 7 and 5 is greater than the sum of the of diagonal values okay so we can actually uh, interpret the above equation in each row or per row or holistically uh, in the whole matrix okay so we can say that in this row uh, 6 is greater than 3 this 7 is greater than 4 and here 5 is greater than 3 or if we take the sum this is 18 greater than uh, 10 okay so the diagonal dominance given by uh, this equation now is assured or proven so we will we, we may come up with a program uh, using MathCAD in the next procedure so we define a matrix a and b okay given by this arrangement and double check the dominance of such so we check if this is diagonally dominant n is equal to 3 and satisfy uh, aii which is equivalent to 18 same as 6 7 and 5 okay so this is simply the sum of the absolute value of 6 plus 7 plus 5 okay which is 18 okay so I made here a program I will not put it in detail on how to capture this summation of AIJ absolute value from J equals 1 to N okay noting that uh, I is not equal to J so this simply refers to that we are dealing with the off diagonal elements okay when I is not equal to J we are referring to the off diagonal elements so I'd like you to look into this algorithm and program but my point is I just want to show you that uh, in terms of a programming uh, uh, algorithm we can meet these three values 3 4 and 3 which is the same as we do it manually this is a 3 4 and 3 
comparison between 6, 7, and 5. Okay, so uh, we therefore conclude that uh, uh, the sum of this is uh, less than 18. Therefore, this is diagonally dominant. So we proceed with the iterative method. Okay, so after assuring that this is diagonally dominant, we proceed with the iterative method. And the, the iteration involves simply a, a, a similar procedure on a, on a uh, nonlinear or, or a linear analysis with only one equation, which is the same as a fixed point iteration. Okay, so very much the same as a fixed point iteration. Wherein you solve the value of x1 in terms of x2 and x3 and assume, okay, assume a solution vector. You will now make use of a, a solution vector. What is x2 and what is x3? Okay, so this is a trial vector that will give you the first value of x1. Okay, so here you will input now uh, x1 uh, and x3 and solve for x2. Okay, you solve for x2, you solve for x1 and here you input x1 and x2 to solve for x3. Okay, so these are the equations. These are the fixed points that defines your iterative procedure. And your first iteration will involve a trial solution vector, okay? So or an assumption, which is normally 0, 0, 0 to make your computation on the first iteration very, very easy. Because if these are zeros, okay? If this is 0, 0, and 0, then your x1, x2, and x3 will simply be equal to 11 over 6, 5 over 7, and 1 over 5, which, are, which is the result uh, obtained on the second iteration. So on the second iteration, upon substituting the values 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0, you get now the second solution vector, which is 1.83, 0.714, and 0.20. So the process is just repeated, that's why it's called iteration until such time that you will notice your convergence is actually becoming very, very near uh, to the actual values, okay? The converging uh, uh, values of uh, the x vector uh, becomes very, very near to the actual values. How do you know it's uh, becoming nearer? you will notice that the change, the change in the values of the x vector becomes smaller and smaller until such time, okay, on the fourth iteration, you will see this to be very, very much the same until it reaches the, the ninth iteration wherein the actual solution uh, is achieved by convergence okay so x now is equal to 2 1 and 1 and the process is just repeated okay so these are your your fixed point or these are the the uh, governing equations that you use in order for your of uh, uh, your uh, next solution vector uh, converge to the actual values of the solution okay so i use just use a uh, mathcad you can do this uh, using a calculator i just uh, use mathcad the tool to facilitate my computation so the jacobi iteration now can be written in terms of the following relationship so this is the formula i use actually on those uh, uh, three uh, row equations okay so this is the formula and uh, since uh, this is a formula we can directly use this 
in the MathCAD language no? to solve for the values. Take note that in this summation symbol, J must not be equal to I. Okay? Or in MathCAD language, we set your given matrix of coefficient and vector of constants. Then we define iterative uh, range or conventions of I, J, and K. Where I is the row, J is the, the column, and K is some counter that uh, uh, we use in order to uh, define uh, later uh, the aug augmented uh, matrix in case we need them. Okay, so the first iteration is simply the trial solution vector. We count it as the uh, first iteration or the first estimate. So other books uh, call this the first estimate. It's actually a trial estimate. These are now calculated estimates. So the second iteration, as was done using using the formula here, okay, this is the, the, the formula, the fixed uh, equation that we are using, can be converted into a generalized formula or into a program like this. Okay, so this is just uh, a program that will deal with how you would interpret this formula here. The BI over AII is a fixed value, not uh, not uh, connected with the summation series there. Therefore, I separated it here and then I just add it there. Okay? I separated it here and then later I add it here. Okay? So, my iterative uh, a procedure is actually focused more on the summation series because this is just a direct computation. The summation series has a loop that loops uh, on, on the J uh, range, okay? And this is the loop that I'm uh, actually uh, using to come up with the final uh, value of XAI and then add it to the XBI, which is actually the, the fixed value here of BI over AII. And then I returned it back to the X vector to get the second iteration. So take a look at the value I obtained from the value that was obtained on this computation. So they're just the same. Okay. Second iteration, then third iteration, and fourth iteration, and fifth iteration until such time that you will notice this converge into uh, this value in the fourth and upon continuing I did not continue it uh, using this program you may try it uh, by your own you will converge uh, on the ninth iteration uh, to be exactly the solution vector to be exactly a 211 value okay so that's uh, how the jacobi method or the jacobi iteration is being done using a manual computation procedure or even a program uh, using mathcad uh, of course uh, it's more advantageous to use a program if you know how to do it but uh, if uh, the equation involves only three equations, three unknowns, so I think this uh, manual uh, computation will be very much uh, effective uh, in solving uh, such kind of uh, uh, system of linear equation. Thank you very much. And I will proceed to the next uh, method in the succeeding video.